Today we're answering the burning question, am I a LASIK candidate? So if you've ever wondered whether this life-changing procedure is right for you, stick around because we've got all the answers. I'm Doc Hatch, a consultant ophthalmologist at your service. Let's get this party started by learning about what LASIK is. LASIK stands for Laser Assisted in situ Keratomyosis and it's a popular refractive surgery that can correct common vision problems like nearsightedness, farsightedness and astigmatism. But hold up, not everyone is a suitable candidate. Let's find out if you are. First things first, let's check if you're old enough for this wild LASIK adventure. Generally, we prefer candidates who are at least 18 years old because by that age, your vision tends to settle down and your cornea gains some serious strength. Remember, we weaken the cornea during LASIK, so making sure it has enough strength is extremely important. Now let's talk about stability, and I'm not referring to your ability to balance a spoon on your nose. We need to make sure that your prescription has been playing nice and staying relatively unchanged for at least a year. We don't want to zap your cornea with a laser only to find out that your vision decides to throw a wild party and change again. But hey, even if your eyes like to play tricks on you, there's still hope. You can go for LASIK surgery, but keep in mind that LASIK won't magically stabilize those numbers forever. You might need a little touch up later on, but hey, it's better than the crazy high prescription you had before, right? Here's my personal experience. I have quite a few patients that won't stabilize, especially those high miles, even at the age of 30 years. They've undergone the surgery and are incredibly happy. Yes, they may get that 0.5 or 1 number back after a year or so, but that's much better than the extremely high prescription they were rocking before. The decision is of course yours, we're just giving the facts. Let's take a moment to appreciate the shape, strength, and thickness of your cornea. LASIK surgery involves some serious cornea remodeling using a laser, so we need to make sure your cornea is up for the challenge. We do this thing called corneal topography to figure out if your cornea is thick and strong enough. If it's too thin or weak, we'll have to bring in alternatives like phacic lenses. But don't worry, we'll save that story for another time. Now let's talk about the tears. No, not the ones you shed while watching a heartwarming movie. I'm talking about dry eyes, my friend. If you're already dealing with dry eyes or experiencing symptoms like desert-like dryness, burning, or discomfort, LASIK might not be the best option for you. We need those tears to keep your eyes comfy and your cornea healing like a champ. If your tear film is a bit lackluster, we'll need to address that before bidding farewell to your spectacles, especially if you have any pesky autoimmune conditions. Sometimes, we will have to say no to you. I'll even hook you up with a fancy form called the Ocular Disease Index Questionnaire to get an idea of your ocular surface all from the comfort of your couch. Look in the description. If you're floating in the realm of severe dryness, we've got to treat it before even considering LASIK. Ah, the retina, the star of the show. We need to ensure that your retinal health is in tip-top shape, especially those peripheral portions. We'll perform a comprehensive exam to make sure that there are no hidden tears or degenerations lurking around, demanding our attention before we proceed with the grand LASIK spectacle. This is even more crucial for high myops whose retina are already on the thinner side. Although LASIK is generally a safe bet for your retina, we want to make sure that you're shielded from any potential prop twists and complications. And last but not least, let's talk about expectations. We're all for dreaming big, but when it comes to LASIK surgery, it's important to keep it real. While LASIK can work wonders for your vision, we can't promise you a ticket to perfect eyesight paradise. The machine itself has a tiny margin of error or about plus minus 0.5 diopters, which can be influenced by factors like humidity or even your tear film during the recovery process. So expect great things, but perfection isn't exactly on the cards. Your body just wasn't built for it, my friend. That's a wrap on the magical world of LASIK candidacy. If this journey has been enlightening and you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below to join our eye-opening community. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. We've got plenty more exciting content coming your way, so stay tuned.